In this video, we're going to be looking at two medicinal cannabis brands that are available in South Africa through a legal Section 21 application. One will be Canadian, one South African, and we'll also have the opportunity to interview the actual medical patient that has tried both of these brands. So here we have the Canadian product, the Unite Organic from the Green Organic Dutchman. It's an 18.2% total THC flower. And if we have a closer look, you can see the quality of the bud. Uh, and it's great that this is available and ported for Section 21. And here's a South African brand, the Critical Kush from Pharma Growers. And have a look at those, uh, those great nugs. Uh, a real life smell to the flower when you open up. And this is a 22% THC flower. And just to let you know, both of these products are being made available in the country through uh, cannabis clinics in partnership with Introcan. And there's a comparison of both of them. So there you have it, South Africa producing world-class cannabis to rival any international brand. And now we're going to get into a conversation with the actual medical patient who's tried both of these products and he's going to tell us a lot more. Hi Michael, it's great to have you on uh, as a medical patient and a fully legal medical patient. Um, I'm going to ask you a few questions about your journey in the industry. I mean, you, everyone should know you pretty much has been in the industry because you've been quite active. And it's great to see that you've actually gone through the process of Section 21 approvals to get access to legal medical products through SAPRA. Now, tell me a bit about your journey to becoming a licensed medical patient. Okay, so it started with uh, IntroCan, who did the processing. So I met through the portal, um, you register, you then have a doctor's consultation. And then the doctor then uh, connects through the Intracan portal and they then get approval for the Section 21 with Safra. Um, the process takes roughly two weeks or so. Um, Safra then gives approval, you get a certificate, and then you process your order. So you get your, you get your flower. Awesome. Um, awesome. And how was it delivered? Very simple. How was it delivered? I believe yeah, so it can so even go online direct to you. 100% yeah, it gets delivered to your heart. So that's the that's the beauty about it is, you know, it's directly to us. You don't have to go anywhere. It's flowered directly to itself. You know, awesome. The, yeah. Awesome. So I want to ask a question. We're going to get into like a comparison of the two, two products you've already had experience with. But what are the benefits you see as a patient? Uh, you know, having, I know you've probably had experience of it in the past, but now using it as a medical product. So like, why do you feel this is such an important aspect of health uh, and bringing this to a broader consumer base? Well, I think that's beyond, you know, the quality in the flower. It's actually more about the doctors and how they spread the message about what's good and what's not, you know, or alternatives at least to things that are causing big problems globally. So, you know, I think that that's very important because the doctors are going to be the ones who spread the information, who stop the naysayers from, you know, carrying on with prohibition. And this is what's led to a $2.3 trillion problem crisis in America, opiate crisis. So this is a much safer alternative. And I think there's a lot of doctors around the world who are changing. So I think that big leap forward for the industry um yeah I, I i i think that ultimately the flower will win and we've seen that because doctors have accepted it you know a lot of the doctor fraternity have accepted it. there's a lot who haven't you know but they haven't why because of prohibition so i think that will slowly change in time so we will see in the future this will become more normal you know this yeah. plant will exist carrying on throughout the, you know. Fully, um, fully. So I can see the been, benefits coming online of, you know, herbal, botan herbal botanicals, natural medicines. This will all flurry up in the coming years. I mean, there is a strong push towards simple. herbal natural medication and trying to work that into a, a framework like with westernized medicine that's very much single molecule, it's very specific action driven. Uh, we're going to see multi-actions, multifactorial 
treatments coming into play. We know that cannabis is good for comorbidity, but comorbidity is not great for clinical assessment. But I want to talk about the actual quality and experience with the products you've received. Now, yeah. you've received a Canadian product, uh, which is great because now we're getting some products in for actual opening up of the process. But it's also even better that we've seen South African products come online. Now, you've had an experience between the Canadian product that I believe was irradiated as well as the South African product, which I don't think is. Uh, how does the two products compare as a medical user? What were your opinions and comparisons and perspectives on the two? Okay, so this is the this is the Canadian product over here. I'll do an unboxing for you, right? So you get this little box, um, you open it up. There's a nice little glass jar inside here, yeah? right? And childproof lock, so it's not you can't just open it. No one, you know, you have to actually press and open. So it's not so easy. You then peel the foil off. Right. I don't know if you can see inside. Yeah, perfect. Show it up comes. again there. Excellent. Good. All and right. So, nice. Good. So that's the that's the flower there. And you can see it's a lot darker. You know, it's, it's quite dark. I think that's through the irradiating process. So it's a it's a good product. It, it is a heavy hitter. So when you when you use this flower over here. You can't take a big drag. It's you know you choke on it. It's very it's a very hard heavy hitter. It's sitting at eight eight point nine three milligrams per gram. So is that THC? You know, that, it's, yeah, THC is eight point nine three. Awesome. Milligrams per gram. So you know it's a, it's a good flower. It's come it's come around the world, and that would you know I mean look at the brown. Up, that looks like art or so you know that's unfortunately you know a, a problem but it's nice that we've got access to international it's just maybe you know that process can be streamlined um yeah. but you know that's that's one side of it you know and it's uh, i think that's exciting because it's a, it's a legal product you know it gets delivered to a house and that's fantastic um but some of the check boxes maybe aren't so clear where this product over here is a South African product, and this is from two hours away, you know, from Joburg. Awesome, and, and I can, can see you've primarily China. used that product. <laughs> Luckily, I got some photos yeah, of this, the of this <laughs> quality, uh, so I've uploaded some quality of that photo, so it's in there as well. And there you are, they're a great cultivator out here in ja well, yeah, they're out here in South Africa, and it's fantastic because I think what's yeah. happened is. You know, bringing in some international products has really gotten the regulator familiar with the process of getting unregistered medicines to the public. And it's also now enabled local production to tie into the value chain. And, and like you said, tell us a bit more about the South African product in terms of the quality comparison with uh, how you perceive the Canadian product. Well, let me say this. This Canadian product, when you open the jar and you put your nose to it, there's not much of a smell. So there's, which is, which is theoretically is correct. You shouldn't actually be smelling the jar too much because that's your, that's your product losing, right? But I think this has lost most of its terpene value already. So, and, and therefore the smell has disappeared, right? Yeah. And that compared to the South African products, like while this is protected with, you know, the right, in the right way with the right humidity levels and whatnot, um, it's far superior. <laughs> yeah. No, I got you. And considering the it's importance... It's game. Um, Go ahead. You know. No, I saying the importance of the entourage effect with terpenes. It's vital that we have... I mean, it's it's an aspect of treatment. You know, it's easy to focus on THC or CBD or the minor cannabinoids, but really the terpenes are well demonstrated for the entourage effect and patient-specific benefits. So it's great to see yeah. that these products are... You know, available. I mean, it's crazy to think sure. that uh, two, three years ago, we wouldn't have imagined uh, legal flower in possession uh, of our hands. Um, there is obviously yeah. the Privacy Act, but it's good to see for medicinal reasons, there's also access, which is great. So I wanted to ask you, yeah. in the process, um, maybe to close out, um, where do you see... Like, how can this be streamlined? How can this be improved? I mean, it's great that you have access, 
But I'm sure you had to go through things like the SAPRA fee, the, the physician's fee, the product's fee. Obviously, as more product comes in or is available, uh, that scales. And as it scales, the cost per unit will come down. And that will ultimately enable access. Um, do you see it uh, becoming easier from this way forward? And do you have any advice to regulators potentially listening or customers looking to get medical cannabis? You know, what are the next steps that if they're keen to do this, how do they proceed? Yeah. So, I mean, I think, I think the process can be streamlined. It always can be streamlined. It can get better and better. We know that this is a medicine. We've seen it around the world globally. So, you know, Section 21 unregistered medicine you know, does that really make sense? You know, it's, it's a it's a medicine. We've accepted that. The doctors, well, I suppose not all of the doctors have accepted that, but they will change. Eventually, it will be just a normal medicine. Um, you're not going to, but for now, you know, you've got to go through the process of the Section 21, which, you know, it takes time. It, it takes a little bit of money. Um, but, but ultimately, what you're getting is a product, you know, that is gone through the checkpoints so it's gone it's got safety files behind it they know where it's come from what's been put in it's it's a safe product that's ultimately what you're buying um whereas other flower you don't know where where's it come from what did they grow with what went on to it what did they spread with there's a whole bunch of questions whereas through a medical side there's no room for that you can't make mistakes you know once they test the products, if they find that there's a mistake, the batch is just cancelled. Yeah, you know, you've, you've now wasted I'll pick a lot up on that point. Money, so you don't play games. Yeah, I mean, this is you the know. biggest advantage I see as well is knowing what's in your product, um, whether that's in a responsible adult use market, whether that's a medical market, independent. People increasingly want to know what is in their product and that it's been tested, that it's gone through a controlled process of production. Just for most, you know, there will always be some users that are undiscerning, but I do think more and more users, as this becomes more mainstream, want to know what's in the product. And hopefully what we'll see is we'll see this progression from Section 21 to maybe potentially even compassionate care for Section 14 in the future, and then eventually full marketing authorizations for products. It's tough with flower, just on how marketing authorizations are structured yeah. with dossiers. But it's fantastic to see it's happening. And it's glad to know that this is going down uh, with, you know, and thank you to IntroCan for the efforts to drive this forward, to give patients access. And uh, I can only say thank you, Michael, once again, for sharing your experience, sharing the quality of the products you've been exposed to. And I look forward to uh, anything out there that uh, is going to be happening and evolving. I know extracts are going to be a big discussion in the future as well. And I'm sure I'm going to have you back on as our reference uh, medical patient to discuss the evolution of the South African market. And I'm sure other regions like Zimbabwe and the rest of Africa will be looking to us to understand how do we provide access to better medication in Africa, because this is as important when it comes to other forms of medication. So thank you, Michael. Appreciate you being thank on you. and uh, look forward to the next discussion. So thank you, Jess. Cool, Appreciate man. It. Cheers. Now, if you enjoyed that interview and are also super passionate about the success of African cannabis, have a look at the recent discussion and interview I had on the 400 kilogram THC shipment from Uganda to Germany on the channel.